ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் நாவ் வி ஆர் ஸ்டார்டிங் நியூ கோர்ஸ் இன் திஸ் கோர்ஸ் வி வில் லேன் ஜாவாய் அஃபக்ஸ் த்ரீ டி இன் திஸ் சப் சீரியஸ் வி வில் லேன் ஹவு டு யூஸ் டூ டி ஷேப் இன் த்ரீ டி ஸ்பேஸ் ஸோ திஸ் வில் ஹெல்ப் அஸ் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஹவு டு ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் தி ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஃப்ரம் one location to another location in three dimensional coordinate space so to make thing simple we use a 2d shape here only in this video and going forward we will start using the 3d shape as well as 3d space all right now let's get introduced to 3d in our previous course we learned about java fx 2d as well as java fx ui so in this course java fx 2d we learned how to draw 2d shapes then in java fx ui we learned how to create user interface elements both are considered as node and even in 3d whatever we draw that will be considered as a node and node will be presented in the scene and the scene will be equipped to the stage in this course we will learn java fx 3d and we will also see how to perform animation you can apply you can apply the animation techniques in this series to java 2d as well i mean we can say java fx 2d here in this course we are going to cover uh, 3d objects but uh, you can apply all these amnike all these animation techniques in uh, java fx 2d objects as well 2d drawings will be performed in x and y direction or in x and y coordinate so that's why we call that as 2d so if you see we need only two dimension and if you want to perform something say for example if we are drawing a line we will specify the coordinates in terms of x and y so this is one dimension this one is a second dimension let's state this is origin and we will say from origin the first point is at location x then we will also specify that uh, the second coordinate at y location so these two together constitutes the location say for example move this many unit in y direction so it will go here then this many units in x direction and you will land up here you can travel in another direction also suppose if you travel in x direction first move this many units in x direction then move y unit in y direction so you will still end up with the same point so we call this as a two dimension x and y coordinate and we specify the point similarly you can specify the next point as well in x direction move this many units then in y direction move this many units so by using these two coordinate we will specify where the point is and once you know these two point you can start drawing the line and this line will be in a planar in, in a planar means it will be uh in one single sheet like we can state if this is a plane in x y direction then the line will be drawn in a single planar location so there is no thickness added here up and down this will be z direction z and z dash 
x y or we can state x y right so once you apply z transformation we can call that as a 3d space 3d drawings are 3d drawings and shapes required third dimension say is a taxis so as already told so this is x left side is x or right side is x then upward y and z is pointing towards u or going beyond u so this is z direction x dash y dash so if you see that's why we call this as a planar so if you draw something here this will be drawn in a plane specific plane but uh, if the plane is shifted let's state in z direction say four unit it is shifted let's assume like that so here if you see the new planar location is all right it's shifted in a specific uh, direction so this uh, frontal one so this is the front one and this is the back one and if you see it is uh, shifted in a z direction and if you join these two plans uh, height wise you will end up in creating a 3d box as you see here right this is one side this is next side front side and this one will be the back side front back or right left back front top here and the bottom is here right so here we are trying to explain this in a 2d plane and you can see how 3d transformation is applied in z direction so usually your i will be here right so and you are watching in this direction so we can call that as a z direction and in this direction you can see multiple plans or multiple planars right and if you draw something on this plan we can call that as a 2d but when you draw something shifting from one plan to another plan and if you draw and connect something then we can say that you are drawing something in three dimensional coordinate space so that's why here we are stating 3d drawings and shape requires third dimension say z axis you can call this third dimension as depth buffer or depth so height width depth all right so that's all here now translation is a technique in basic animation so translation means moving an object from one location to another location here 2d or 3d shape can move from one location to another location so that's what needed for a basic animation say for example if you have a circle or a tube and if it is moving from one location to another location we can call this as a translation and if you see in a two dimensional space it shifted some x unit as well as some y unit and if it is in z direction then it will be shifted in uh, z direction also that means the object is moving towards you or moving beyond you 
with uh, some displacement in x and y direction. The moment of a 2D shape or sh 3D shape. So the shape itself can be a 2D or a 3D. Say for example, if you have a disc without any thickness, we can call that as a 2D object. But uh, if you have a disc with some thickness applied to it, we can call that as a 3D shape, right? So this bottom one is a circle and it is extending in solid shape and it ends up here. So it's a cylinder, right? Cylinder, if you see, this will be at one planar location and this one will be at some other planar location in two different plan, right? This is one plan and this is one more planar location. So. x1 y1 and if you see x2 and y2 if you look this alone this itself a 2 2d shape and this one is a 2d shape but if the disk is extruded this way then it forms a solid object and that forms a cylinder so this one will be the z direction Right, so three dimension comes into picture. So that's why here we are saying the movement of a shape. The shape can be 2D, a paper, or it can be a box. 2D, paper, or box. The movement of a shape, 2D or 3D shape, can take place in 2D space or 3D space. Right, so if you have a small ball here. And if it moves from one location to another location in x y as well as if it get displaced in z direction then the movement is in 3d space right in this sub series we will get introduced to 3d space and we will draw some simple 2d shape and transform that in 3d coordinate space so that we can see one object is hiding the other so what we are going to do we will draw two circle and we will see how one circle hides the other one and we will change the direction of the circle in the depth if you see if this is one circle this one will be seven uh, another circle we can place it before the first circle or we can move it behind the uh, second circle so in this first case the first circle and if you are viewing in this direction first circle hides the second one but when we move it behind the uh, second circle then second circle hides the first one so this is first one moved to some other direction and let's keep second disk in the same location if you see if this is uh, in one color say red and this one is blue you will see red disc is on top of blue that means red disc is fully visible and this is your viewing direction red disc is near you so you will fully see the red disc and if it moves behind this blue disc then you will see the blue disc fully and it hides part of the red disc so that's what we are going to explore here in this uh, sub series then once you understand this then we can go ahead with the 3d shapes anyhow here we are using the 3d space but uh, 2d shape from next video onwards we will use a 3d shape on uh, 3d space here we create two 2d circle and place that on a 3d space and we will explore whatever we discussed here we will also look at the depth buffer role in 3D space. Depth buffer means this is what. So, red disk is near you. Red disk is 
far away from you and behind some other disk so the red disk will be hidden by some other red disk blue disk all right so that's what called a depth buffer that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye